Hello there and welcome to the shop and welcome to this the last in the present series of the building of the Maxi CNC router and in about two to three days time all the drawings and specifications will be on my patron pages to build this machine. So that means the beginning of next month which is only a day or two away we'll be starting a new project. So today's video we are going to tune this right in to within a thousandth of an inch or two and uh, we're also going to check the tramming of the spindle and um, if it needs adjustment we will adjust it and make it absolutely perfect. Okay so to Tune Mark 3 in to a CNC router, it's preferable to use a larger dimension uh, to tune into, it, not just uh, 50 millimeter, but over a larger distance uh, you can get a more accurate um, reading. So uh, we, we're looking for 500 millimeters. So I'm going to turn you to Mark 3 now and show you what to do. So in Mark 3, what you do, you come here to settings, you come turn to this bottom corner here, set steps per unit, in this case we're using the X, so we're going to say OK, uh, and we're going to put the figure in here of 500 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is then press OK and the axes will move that amount and we'll check to see how far it does move. Okay so I'm going to press OK now uh, then I'll zoom you in uh, at a more square angle so you can see that Okay, I've got the camera square onto it now. I'll zoom you in. And I th oh. Now, I might have to stick my big head in the way there, I think. That is looking to me like it's 499. So it is one millimeter out over 500 millimeters. So I'll show you what to do into Mark 3 now to get Mark 3 to put the correct steps per in the motor tuning. So in this window here, we are going to put 499. So that's the reading we got. So then we press OK. And Mark 3 is going to say, well, for the correct setting for this machine with these ball screws, it is 160. Oh, incidentally, I have 800. Incidentally, I have 800 steps per set in the motor drivers um, so that's why this the number might seem a little odd to some people so it's um, 1600.577 I'm gonna say yes we want to alter it and okay that so we're gonna come out of this screen now going to config motor tuning and you can see that figure has been altered here so what I'm going to do now is copy that copy save axis settings I'm going to come into the Y and I am going to delete that and copy it in there, paste, 
Z settings, Z. And the reason I'm doing this is because I have identical drivers, identical stepper motors, and identical screws on all axes. So what is correct for one will be absolutely perfect for the rest. And that is how you change the axis step rate. Okay, so we're gonna recheck that now just to make sure it is perfect. So I've set 500 again in that little box. I'm pressing okay. Do this live, and I think you'll agree that that's pretty smack on. Happy with that. Right, I've got a piece of uh, MDF now set up on the bed, and uh, I'm just going to bring the tool down and uh, zero it, and I'll show you how to set it up in Mark III. So we have, I just use a little bit of paper, it's uh, a quick and easy way of zeroing the tool. So bring it down quietly. Keep the paper moving. Just caught it there, so we're going to call that zero. So this is what you do to simply zero the tool. So we're going to zero the X. Zero the oh first of all make sure you're not in machine coordinates. So when this is not lit, that means you're in the work offset or the G54. In other words, you're telling the Mac 3 and the machine, well, this is gonna be the start of the work. So Y0 and Z0. And I've got the feed rate at the moment set at 30% of what I set it at at in calf curl. So now let's uh, lift the tool off the job slightly. That'll do and uh, we'll start it going. Okay so here we go here's the uh, first meaningful cut.
Okay, I can hear you saying now, well, that was a very simple cut for uh, a machine of this caliber to make, but this simple cut can tell us a lot about this machine and how accurate it is. Because that's what we're after is accuracy and how true it is cut in. Well, the first thing you will notice here, there is no tool marks whatsoever. And if you remember, we cut a square pattern. We didn't raster. We did a square pattern, which means if the tool or the, the spindle was cutting at a slight angle in any direction, forward, back or left to right, it would leave a ridge all the way around. And from that ridge you can actually tell in which direction you need to alter the, um, the, the head then, or the z-axis to counteract that and make it perfect. Well, as you know, I try to do things as perfect as I can, and while I was building it, I ensured that that was absolutely plumb. Absolutely dead vertical, which this proves it is. Now then, to prove, um, another thing we can prove here is how accurate the machine cuts. Now this should be a hundred millimeters. Oh, now can you see that? It's jumping between 99.9 and 100 millimeters. Now that is pretty perfect. Uh, you know, you, you really, it'd be very, very hard push to get uh, a C any CNC router, any, um, shall we say, more accurate than that. Uh, you know, 0.1 of a millimeter is absolutely fine. You're not going to get it in wood any better than that, or any man-made product for that matter. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little video today. And uh, if you have, please press like and subscribe. And if you really like my videos and what I'm doing, you could consider becoming a patron to the channel. Because it is the patrons behind this channel that uh, you know keeps it all going. So if you are interested, patron information is down below this video in the video description area. Also, there you will find a link and a discount code for the CAVCO programs and also a discount code if it's necessary for you to pay for a license for Fusion 360. So this coming month, which is August, uh, we're starting a brand new project. And for this next particular project, uh, I know there's a lot of you out there that's been hanging out for me to uh, give some information on it. Now it is lasers, but it's something you can afford. But exactly what, you're going to have to wait and find out in the next video. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. Uh, don't forget, uh, in about three days time, uh, all the drawings uh, for this router and all the information of parts and pricing will be on my patron pages so uh, if you're interested go along have a look um, there might be a bit of a delay because uh, I do understand patron um, charges you first before they allow you to download any of the drawings because people have been going in and pinching the drawings and going <laughs> So uh, they put a stop to all that. Anyway, so thank you for dropping in and seeing the video. And uh, I'll see you on the next exciting episode in my workshop. So bye for now.